Hey everybody, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about Tillandsias. These are air plants or air ferns. They have all these weird names. Um, I've been collecting them from this one grower and I picked these up about two weeks ago and I left them inside the house and this one got a little bit beat up, but you know, they're really great. They're, they come in different types and sizes and they grow, you know, differently. And they have really nice flowers. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a like a jellyfish type hanging Tillandsia plant. You know, I picked this guy up. This guy that looks really, really cool. Something very different. Looks like a weird onion. And I was lucky enough to find this sea urchin shell. This was a, a tuxedo sea urchin. And once it dies, it kind of buckles in, and then they go ahead and remove all of the all of the barbs. You know, this guy was not venomous or anything. Pretty cool. I've had one of these in my tank before. So, anyways, the idea is to get this guy all of its roots and stuff them in like this. Now, you know, it could easily just fall out. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie it up with my super favorite aluminum wire. Around the base, there, let me zoom in. Around the base of this guy, it's pretty narrow. I don't know if you guys can see there, put my hand out of the way. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, the roots, well, it's not growing roots. If you want to get one of these and have it attach to something, like say a piece of driftwood, make sure that when you pick it up, it has some fresh roots. And this is a good example right here. This guy has some like orchid type looking roots. They're even growing green. They're a little bit on the green side. They're very healthy. These roots are growing right now. And if you put it onto some driftwood or something, you just glue it on there it will eventually anchor on on its own this guy he's gonna need some help first thing is to make a little loop where are my pliers first thing you do is straighten out some line I'm going to use about a foot yeah I'll use about you know, a little bit more than a foot this looks good. Okay. You grab your handy, handy dandy little beading pliers and make like a hook, a round hook, where you think it'll go, go around the plant. Let's see. go so there it is it's well well there it is it's anchored on there I don't know if you guys can see that but then I go ahead and press it with my fingers don't do it too hard just enough like the plants can still wobble around he still has some he still has some wiggle room don't press it too hard. I just know that it's not going to fall out. It's at a weird angle now. It hangs like this. So I want it to hang a little bit differently. Hopefully the loop will hold it the way I want it to. But let's see. Let's find out. There you go. Pretty awesome. All right, from here, the sea urchin shell right here. Um, this one already has some little holes in there. Don't know if you guys could scope that out. You see that, you see my shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and use them. I don't really wanna drill through it. This thing's incredibly brittle. And stop, look, I just broke it somewhere, but that's fine, cause it's gonna look cool. From there, you just stuff all of these roots, all of these roots in there. Just push them back in there. The roots, don't really need 
um, to be watered. It's basically just, wait, I don't like this angle. Hold on, everybody, hold on. There you go. The roots are clearly out of view. Um, the roots don't have to be watered. These plants get it from these little hairs that they have, little silvery hairs that are on the, the plant's leaves. They'll absorb the water, turn a bright green, and slowly over time, drink it up. Now, I do like some little fancy loops here. Hope I don't break this guy. Like I said before, I like big, uh oh, I like big rings and circles and cool stuff like that. Symmetry, I like everything to be very symmetrical. This is not coming out as nice as I thought it would, but it's all right. It's just gonna hang outside. There you have it. Um, that's it. Very simple. There it is. There he is. Ready to go. You hang them inside your house. I like hanging them outside the house. Um, my house, my especially my living room, was very humid. I have um, aquariums in there for fish, so my humidity in the living room stays around 33%. Sometimes a lot higher. I'm pretty sure it's, it's very humid in my living room right now just because of the aquariums so i can have it in there but i do not get a lot of air fresh air going through so i these guys need a little bit of the fresh air so if you have like an open window a patio an awning anywhere that gets a lot of fresh air some really good bright light you can go ahead and throw them in there um recently i went to this um nursery and he's been growing these huge tillandsias. He just has the, the regular blue flowered one of these crazy funky ones. And um, he has them outside in direct sunlight and they're thriving. They're growing ridiculously. And um, he doesn't even water them. And I'm over here, when they look a little dry, I spray them down with the mist setting on my water hose. And I'm always worried, oh, what if they didn't get enough water? I had one, I had actually one of these in the restroom. No, one of these guys. Or I think it was this guy in the restroom. Yeah, it was this guy. And I just had to keep watering him. I know it was probably enough with my showers, but like I said, I don't get a lot of air coming in through my house. So I just, I'm just gonna throw him out here in a little bit. But this guy is done. What do you guys think? Look, those little tentacle looking things, those are its flowers. It's going to bloom soon. I don't have, I don't have any in full bloom right now. Or else I will show you, but maybe I'll, I'll come back to this guy a little bit later. <sighs> hey guys, I wanted to show you guys something, but I'm a, I'm a day too late. Well, there's still some blooms on it, but this is my pink epiphyllum, epiphyllum, and he is in bloom right now. This guy, well, this is somewhat open, but not really but yesterday this thing looked amazing and um i i just didn't film yesterday i was just a little bit too busy but i almost missed it but there is a couple more blooms coming out this is a bloom that's going to come out soon and here is another one right here and yes this is a very ugly plant it is unbalanced and grows however it wants you know what i just beat this flower up it was nice and open when i pulled it down but um yes check out how to propagate and plant these guys so in case you want to buy some from ebay this one came from huntington beach my neighbor's mother gave me a cutting and i'm not sure which one it was it was it was something in there and this guy's around three 
years old. So I had to wait. This is the first year it blooms. I had to wait three years for this guy to give me these flowers. And funny because me and my neighbor, you know, like like the day they opened, I sent him a picture. He sent me a picture. We're like, dude, it's the same plant. It has to be from your mom. So this guy is gorgeous. Look, look at this. Just look at how immense this guy is. It is ridiculous. So this guy is a very fast grower. Hopefully it keeps growing for me. And I'll have some cuttings available in the near future for you subscribers. Look, new growth. <laughs> Be right back. Well, that's it for today. Um, I'm going to cut this video short. And as soon as these guys do a little bit better and my other ones look a little bit greener, I'll go ahead and show you all of my tillandsias and air plants that I have right there. It's just that I haven't been here. Actually, that's a lie. I've been here, but I just haven't watered them. And they look a little bit dry. So hopefully, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the dead blooms. And I'll make another video all about the tillandsias. And um, I'm also going to make another video on where or, or like a video journal of a cattleya that i got and i want to try i want to experiment something with um that kiki power girl stuff so that's it thanks for watching please subscribe please share this video leave your comments down below any questions for any plants you want to know i could most likely if i don't have the plant i can get it and i could go ahead and do a whole review on it okay, thanks very much